the winner of the Web Summit Innovation Sports 2023. Let's get applause to Seth Fabregas. Thank Guys, you. Thank you so much. Applause for Seth, please. This is a special award. It's very different. The Web Summit Innovation in Sports Awards. What does it mean to you to win it? I'm very proud. I'm very happy. Sometimes we are used too much uh, to the world of football way, but um, yeah, we are always trying to perform on the pitch to get uh, the trophies, the medals, the awards. Uh, so yeah, definitely this, this one feels different. Last year you were playing for Como, and now you are coaching Como. Yeah, well, it's been quick even for me because um, I, w I, I would be playing now even uh, today because um, I had a two-year contract. Um, I stopped playing last year because I was not really enjoying football anymore. I was very honest with myself. I always said that if one day I wake up and I don't feel the same hunger, the same passion to, to play the game, and that's why my, my heart, my head was thinking about the coaching side more than the, the playing. And that's when I understood that it was time to hang up my boots. But I suppose that smoothed the transition for you. Was it still a really hard decision? I have to say that it was um, much easier to accept than what I expected. Uh, I had a little bit of fear of what would happen, but thanks to coaching, thanks to having a clear idea of what I wanted to do, I'm busy, I do what I love, I coach players the way that I think the football should be played. Everything is exciting. One of the things I really love about Como is their sense of community. The pitch, the grass, the food that you serve, you know, it's really just serving and being involved in that community. Uh, it's a really special club. It's a, a really special moment of my life because I'm learning also other parts of football that I never really seen before. And uh, because of that, I, um, I'm very grateful, yeah. Is there a moment where you sort of, you know, go, okay, next challenge, here we go. I take things very naturally. I don't like to think too much about everything um, I say and I, I do what I feel in every moment and that's, that's the way I am. So your first game in charge, what sort of football are your team going to play? I think you have to be smart enough to understand that you cannot change everything in one second. I want to talk to the players, I want to get to know them uh, better, I want to understand what they feel, um, their needs uh, around the training, um, give them solutions, give them inputs and, uh, and ideas, you know, after that it's all them. I see a lot of football and it's very, nowadays it's very robotic, it's very strict, you do this, you do that. I don't see players enjoying the game the way that we used to before. What finally would success look like for you from here until the end of the season? Uh, I am a winner. I'm very positive. I always believe uh, and dream big. I just believe that you are working hard, you are doing the right thing, and then things will, will come slowly. Ladies and gentlemen, Cesc Fabregas. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my job to ask the tough questions. Your team yeah. since taking over the club as the ownership in 2019 uh, have had back-to-back -back promotions, third consecutive season. You won on Saturday, yet you changed your manager. Why? Football is kind of like a game which is full of opinions. So we had to rely on one thing, which is not opinions, which is basically data. And as we're closing in to the transfer window period, we saw that the data showed there were some things that needed to be fixed. We were actually regressing in terms of performance. And rather than us investing significantly during the window on the wrong boat, we better fixed it. So that's why we pulled the trigger uh, yesterday. You retired and became the coach of the Primavera, the youth and reserve team. I think many people here today would want to know, why are you at Como? Uh, it's about the project, uh, it's committed. Um, there's very, very competent people. Uh, the staff is great. I think the players uh, know exactly what this shirt means. Everyone plays for the badge. And I think uh, I fell in love with the project straight away when I first uh, heard about it. And uh, since then, I never looked back. So do you see his role now as just being interim and you will look to make a permanent appointment? Or does Cesc have the chance to become permanent 
head coach manager of Como. I think we've been very honest from the beginning. He was saying, uh, as he's working on his coaching qualifications, he can take in an interim position. Hopefully, he can help us get through, navigate this water for now. But when the opportunity arises, I do believe, we uh, really hope that Seth will find a home in, uh, in Como for the long term. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an opportunity, as I said, and Mirwan knows very well. For me, this is a long-term project. I'm not here for two days, for two months. Hopefully, it's a, it's a long thing. Uh, I trust the club, I trust the people. I'm very comfortable, my family are happy. Um, I guess I'll just ask you, Mirwan, one more question. Um, where do you see Como, Cesc Fabregas, in the next five years, for example, the years ahead? Champions League. It's one of the objectives of the club. We dream big, we're ambitious, and uh, I think we're in the right path. We're in the right way. We have the right mentality, the right people, looking at the right things. And it's now about creating a culture around the training ground. Uh, from tomorrow, this is what I, I will try to do uh, with my own ideas, surrounded by, again, good people, competent people, and, uh, you know, dream big, and then you can make it. Como, from bankruptcy to the Champions League, you heard it here first. Everybody, thank you very much for joining us, and thank especially you. our guests. Thank you so much. Thank you.